So what I want us to do is to start becoming more conscious, start choosing things in a better way for ourselves, and start creating a life that's going to gear us to really take advantage of the opportunities that are going to show up for us in the, the years to come. This podcast is brought to you by The Integrated Human. We work up, down, inside out to plug yourself into your potential. If you want to see what we are up to and what's next, sign up to our newsletter or follow us on social media. If you like what we are doing, we really appreciate it if you can like or post on social media and YouTube and help us grow. All right. Welcome to the Big and Small Podcast. I'm Jason Shields, and I'm big. And I'm Margaret Carl Wilson, and I'm the tiny one. Back in the hot seat. In the hot seat. Yup. Welcome, welcome. Good to look you in the eyes. We've been busy lately. We're always busy. Yeah, yes, we are. But we're preparing for the Flow State Continuum well, weekend. Well, actually, because this is one of the very few episodes that are recorded one week before we publish. Because right now, if you listen to it as it's published, we are in the middle of the Flow State Continuum weekend. That's it. So you're either there or you're not. Or you're not. So Ding, ding, ding. So yeah. <laughs> either you're too late or you are enjoying because you have now listened to our voice for about 24 hours already and you're not tired of it. So you're going to listen to us for one more hour. Exactly. So either or. Yes. yes. And you can be ready for the fall season. Mm-hmm. You're going to be very good. So yeah. actually a question. Because uh, I had, uh, had a, a lovely uh, lady I talked to mm-hmm. uh, that was interesting in the first day continuum weekend. Yeah. And she uh, she kind of, yeah, when is the course? I said, well, it's not a course. It, it's, it's a seminar. Uh, I said, it's not, a, it's not kind of you learn a technique and then you, you know the technique and, and you're done. And, and she looked at me and said, yeah, but when, when but because she couldn't come this this weekend that we are in now. So she wanted to when know when the next one was. And I said, well, that's not before September because we kind of have, have six months between them. And she's like, yeah, but you need more people. And is that why? I said, no. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it's for your own sustainable development. Yeah. I said, we're not called the put as much into and blow people's head off pe- person. Yeah. You're called the integrated human so the changes you make during a weekend it you make the changes on the inside and it's going to take some time for the universe to adapt and manifest on the outside yes and it takes about six months Mm -hmm. to prepare for the next meeting to prepare for the next meeting if if you do one of these weekends every month that you it's not going to be very sustainable then it's not the integrated human it it, it's blow your head off human and I don't want to change names. Yeah, so, exactly. <laughs> so it has to do with the sustainability of the development. And also then you are ready and you crave more because the more you do it, the more you want it because you see the changes that you make. Yep. So, and that's why it's every half year and not every, every month. It will be every month, hopefully, when we are larger and we can go to Munich and, and Berlin and Paris and London and the States. Yeah. But then, then you're going to have different people at all those events you will not have hopefully one that comes every month because i love this stuff but it's a little bit much maybe to go in it's very strong stuff it's very powerful yeah and it's you go in so deep and so long over a whole weekend that it, it need you need to respect the work and honor the work enough for it to actually manifest and integrate well, it's like this. It's like you change your body 1%, nothing changes. But if you change your perception 1%, everything changes. And you have to get used to everything. <laughs> you have to get used to the way you relate to your friends and family and your job. And it doesn't mean that there's a giant change, but the change is everywhere. you know. And, and people kind of need you, in a way, to be a little bit the way you've always been. So when you upgrade, when you evolve yourself 
people can get a little freaked out in your life. Like, wow, you know, you don't get angry at me anymore. You have way more energy. You always have chocolate on Fridays and now you don't want chocolate on you Fridays. You don't need it anymore. You don't need it, right? Like it's like suddenly you're freer and people get a little like, what? So you let your life stabilize because once you've taken the step forward, so does your life. Your life has to have that. And it's kind of nice also to allow the people around you to get used to the new you. Because if they can't get the used to the upgraded you, they have to get the hell out. Yeah, and it's uh, I've been doing this for a couple of years now, and and my husband, uh, <laughs> he's kind of pulled along. I gave him an ultimatum, and he decided to. Good man, he's a to, good man. <laughs> thank God he decided to come with me. Um, and it was just interesting because we had one of those episodes not too long ago where I followed his old pattern. Yeah, I can't remember what exactly, but it was kind of chocolate yeah it was not just a large thing but it's like he, he's been working the whole week he works in bergen he comes home to bus and every saturday we have or, or friday we have a bar of chocolate yeah. so i bought that bar of chocolate and then it was friday we were sitting down on the couch finding the chocolate and he said no I was like what and that's just like huh but we always have chocolate no, I, I don't want that anymore. Mm. And, uh, it, uh, you know, it, it's not a lot, but, but change is good or bad. Mm -hmm. It's change. Mm -hmm. And it takes time to develop and to relate to it. And then mm. I have to question, do I don't need chocolate? And shouldn't I eat chocolate? And Yes, you should. Of, of, but, but you have yeah. to you start questioning. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. just if you think about chocolate. Think about when you... All of us, you, you want a new, total new direction in your life. Yeah, you know, so it... it, it you need to respect yourself, your environment, mm -hmm. and the work enough to let that take some time to develop. Yeah, that's it. And and it has to do with both big and small routines. You know, suddenly you're seeing yourself and your life differently. And that's what actually gives you the different results in your life. You know, everybody's, they think they are going to understand and they know what I'm going to say right now. But in reality, most people will go, uh-huh, but they don't actually understand what I'm saying. And that is that you manifest the things in your life by making different choices, by looking at things differently, by assigning value to those things in a different way. You have to think, you really, like, replay what I just said several times and really get that. Because... This is one of those powerful things, you know, the, the secret, you can buy the book called the secret, you know, manifest the, your life and all that, but it has to do with how you look at things, how you assign value and how you choose. So, but to choose differently, you have to see differently. So that's it. This whole process of the flow state continuum allows you to be pulled out of your habits, pulled out of your personality, pulled out of all of the roles that you play and the ego that you have, and pulled out of your personal philosophy, pulled up into your worldview, shot further into your universal perception, and finally into your pure consciousness. Check that. And then, if you're lucky, your pure awareness. And then you can really look at all of the levels that you work yourself through. Like Einstein said, you can never solve the problem at the level that the problem arose. You're having a blockage in your personality. You got to step it up. You have a blockage in the way you perceive yourself. You got to step it up. You have to go to your worldview to work on that, right? If you have a problem with your worldview, you got to step it up and go up it into the universal perception. You guys have to understand that unless you can see it, can't change it. You can't change it. Exactly. Hallelujah, sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you got to get in there. You got to go through the process. This process, people meditate for 11, 12, 13, 14 hours a day in monasteries for 50 years and don't get what they get on this weekend. You think I'm joking? Ha, ha, ha. That's if I facts. know, had uh, had uh, yeah, the, the laughing button, <laughs> right, right, the laughing button. I that just I haven't marked them. I haven't marked them. Exactly, exactly. Jason discovered that on a yeah. podcast uh, 
the, the tablet, we have different sounds. Oh man, like the what, what, what sound. And I was like pushing buttons like a little kid. And she's like, what are you doing? We're like, going to do oh it. My God. And I'm like, and now we need one. We need that one. But you think, Next I, time. right? But the whole point is, is that we have scientifically engineered the process of pulling yourself out of that lower level, that survival level, so that you can get to your pure awareness. You can look back and actually make the change that Einstein talks about Mm -hmm. so you can have a better life. So, yeah, I would say that she definitely should show up and she should definitely come in the fall as well. Yeah. That would be my. I hope for, uh, she she has a legit reason for not being here this ah. this weekend. But I hope she she comes in 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 the fall. And it's uh, it's again it it is a sustainable thing. We had a um, person <laughs> that went home. I think I talked about it before. But she went home after the event, and and the person was one. The the husband was wondering what what kind of tea we were drinking because <laughs> she was high on life. You know, she was feeling good because she she is pulled out of her out of her all crap basically yeah. you pull out of your crap you get new perspective and when you're up 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 you, you everything's just pure awareness and bliss and you can see everything so clearly yes. but then unfortunately uh, you kind of you be close off the weekend which we have to do and then you, you drop slowly down into your body again and then after half day half a year you need to see clear again yeah That's so it. that you can continue that process of, of being clear because uh, if, if you have if you do walking through this journey and then maybe your neighbor's not you, you will get more stuff in there and you you will have fallbacks and then you you look at the news how can you not get depressed you know mm-hmm. how, how can you not uh, you know that you had that um, Einstein not Einstein but Einstein you know the billionaire and that was uh, haven't you seen that on the news no you know the billionaire that did all the horrible stuff. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Weinstein. Weinstein, that was. Oof. Right, yeah, but but you you watch a documentary about yeah. that, and then you're getting pulled in, and you wonder how humans can do that. Yeah. And then you get stuck again a little bit, and yeah. then these weekends are really good to kind of put that aside and digest and yeah. and become loose from from the trauma you get from watching a documentary on on TV that is very insightful, but it also hurts your soul a little bit to watch it. And yeah. that's why I think this, it's very nice to have them every half year. And you get to, and then you also get to have momentum in, in your process. And it's not so far that you forget to do your work every day, but it's not that close that you feel stressed about it. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's also this, it's a great point where you're talking about um, trauma there. Uh, because you do, weirdly enough, uh, traumatize yourself watching a lot of crap on TV and following Instagram and, you know, looking at all the horrible stuff. You know, I saw this, you know, I'm, I'm checking something on Facebook and then I suddenly get these poor bears in Asia that are mistreated and I'm, I'm shocked and horrified and all that stuff. And then of course I understand as a full spectrum, total human being, and I understand that the universe is full spectrum and total and i'm gonna have an opportunity to meet all of this stuff in my life and of course i don't agree with it but the whole point is is that how do i recover from that i recover from that of course by using the techniques that i learned the flow state continuum weekends uh using the resilience that i've gained through my meditation and all of that but whether you actually notice it or not you're actually being poked and you're taking souvenirs from all that crap with you. And how do you shake all those souvenirs loose from your pockets? You know, how do you get rid of them? That's one part of it. And another part of it is, is that you kind of have to go into stuff in order to kind of get stuff done too, right? So as you have your universal perspective and you become pure awareness, you kind of have to work through your different layers. And sometimes you get caught in pockets, and this is an important this is an important fact. Even when you are evolved and you're a high performer and you're really using your maximal potential, sometimes because of some other habit, because of some uh, 
lack of energy or whatever, what's going to happen is you get sucked into a pocket and your whole world's going to be about one thing. And then suddenly that thing's maybe not going the way you want. And because it's your whole world, your whole world gets messed up and you feel horrible, like everything's going sideways. And even though when people tell you, oh, yeah, but look at your life. You have a perfect husband. Um, you're the, the leader of a business. You know, you everybody loves you. You're getting all your goals. Things you thought were impossible three years ago are happening all around. You have all these opportunities. But you're like stuck in a pocket where you feel like everything's hopeless and shit. And you feel like, you know, those uh, uh, fly papers? Yeah, you, you're stuck in a fly paper. Exactly. I think that's a beautiful way of saying it. And that's because whether you know it or not, your mind, everybody's like, yeah, but it's my emotions. I'm feeling this way. But you feel a certain way only because your mind has made a pocket. And the pocket is some logical construction, whether you're conscious of, or not, or of it or not, a logical construction of why it's like this. I don't even know why it's like this, but it's like this. That's why. I'm that's why it it's painful because it's logical, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not unlogical. Yeah, your it's mind super is super logical. Yeah, but it's such a small, small little spot. You can ignore all the amazing shit going on around you. Doesn't matter. You're stuck in flypaper. Stuck in that flypaper in that pocket. Sitting there and you're looking, Martha, Mar Martha over there. She's flying around, being yeah. all free. Yeah. And you have honey on your legs. Yeah, exactly. You're like, ah, I'm stuck. I'm so stuck. I'm so stuck. Right? Exactly. And, and, and that's the thing. It's like we, we have to sometimes break out of the pockets. We have to give ourselves the opportunity to take a step back from the pocket and realize, oh, it's just a pocket. Boom. And you look at the pocket afterwards and you go, that was weird. <laughs> why was I pissed off? Can't even remember why I was Oh, poor them I was pissed off at. You know, it's I did that... Um, not too long ago before our awaken weekend mm, i was yeah. so f i was so angry i was so damn angry <laughs> i got up and i left a conversation and i'm like oh. i haven't done that since i was 22 years old that is so <laughs> childish and i had to stop and like work with myself a little bit and i'm like hold on a second i'm stuck in a pocket and then again the integrated human doesn't promise you that you'll never have an issue in your life that nothing bad's going to happen to you. We're not giving you the keys to a billion dollars and immortal health. What we're doing is we're making sure that you recover when that stuff happens. Because I guarantee you, friends, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. You get pushed sideways sometimes. Everybody does. And you got to have people around you that uh, love you enough to support you when you're going stuck in a pocket. But but that's also the, yeah. the, the thing. The, mm. the, the more you work, the the less you will get stuck in the pocket. So when yeah. it happens, like I remember when, when that thing happened, it was so out of character. Yeah. That it, I, neither me or C were butthurt. No, we it was just like, like shock. Like what the hell It was shock here? more than, okay, okay what the f just happened? Mm -hmm. Like what was that? Mm. But I wasn't, I didn't take it personal. Mm. We, we weren't butthurt. We were more like, what the... Yeah, what what's actual, up like yeah. what the it doesn't make any sense yeah. but it wasn't but it was very clear that something was up because it's not in your normal pattern yeah it was so out exactly. of character yeah but and, but and i had a very logical reason at that moment oh of course and i wasn't wrong because my reason was right so the logic of it was like i have the right to be angry right now and i'm leaving yeah because uh, i don't want to say anything stupid yeah, we were like, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But when I went back, when I kind of got some distance, and now this is my friends. This is the reason why I'm telling you this, first of all, because everybody has to go through this, and it's about preparing for the reset and the resilience. It's not about never having any emotions and only being a, a source of uh, ultimate goodness and happiness, because that's not the way it works, even enlightenment, my friends. So you're constantly working. You have to eat. You have to go to the bathroom. You, you eat, you mm -hmm. go to the bathroom. So you're going to be dealing and handling and making up ideas in order to work. So sometimes you get caught in the pocket. So from, from that logical pocket, I was totally right and justified in being angry. But without some distance, and distance, it's important to understand distance, I got perspective. So if you've ever taken a book and you open it up and you put, it, you put your nose in the binding 
How easy is it to read the pages? It's impossible. But as soon as you get a little bit of distance, then you can suddenly start to see. Get too much distance, you can't see either. You have to get the right amount of distance so that you can get perspective. Once you have the perspective, then you can get the information, you understand it, you can integrate it into a bigger picture. And that's what I was able to do. I was like, oh, wait, hold on a second. Being angry here is not, it's logical from that perspective, but my new perspective, my better perspective is like, wow, that is actually an opportunity. And how do you think my ability to cooperate in that situation changed? Looking at it from a situation where I'm going to be angry and walk out. Or it was I'm perfectly. Gonna, we gonna, had an amazing weekend. It turned, in, it turned out to be exactly. so good. It turned out to be an epic weekend of teaching and love, and people were stoked. We learned about chakras. Yeah, exactly. And, from and, a not what we're point of view, yeah. actually how to use them. Yeah, because I actually used my own experience <laughs> going through it oh, as yeah, a we teaching had, tool, uh, we right? Remember also that yeah, there was, oh, sorry. And the guy was like, the thing, yeah, but if this thing hadn't happened, how would you have taught this thing? <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. the synchronicity yeah right the synchronicity when you're kind of you know What's the thing with the dog yeah, yeah anyways you're so much i remember that now it's amazing but, but that's the also with with the more you do it also you will also not just that like me and Steve understood something was very out of character here but you also understand you also we get that perspective quicker because you understand that's out of character Yeah. From yourself. Like you would say. Yeah, that's weird. I haven't done that. I me. haven't, like you said, I haven't done that since I was 14. Yeah. That, why did that happen now? So yeah. so you're able to do that. But um, if, if you don't have anything of, of this processes going on, mm. you're still 14 years old and you're 14 years old every day. And you're going to go out the door and slam the door every day. Yeah. And, and many people live like that, which is. Yes, it's it, so hard. it must be horrific, both for them and the environment. And you know, when when again, if it becomes a pattern, if everybody makes you angry, maybe you're the problem. If you start five businesses and they go bankrupt, all of them, all of them, and you have different partners and you blame the partners, but the only thing that is congruent in all those five companies are you. Maybe you should look at how and how you structure your business. Yeah. If you're, and at least how you're choosing your partners, at least something, at least some, but it's something because so, something's up. What's consistent here? The consistency, you. you the one that's consistent. If it's, yeah. if it's that, you know, every time I get a new job after nine months, I have to change jobs or get yeah. a sick leave because exactly. that my coworkers are. They all treat me horrible. They treat me horrible. Well, if you have had five jobs in six years. Hmm. And you, or, you, or five jobs in one and a half year. In one and a half year. Maybe you're the one that, that should look at yourself. And maybe it's not your coworker. Exactly. And, and that's the thing. Once you are in a situation to get perspective, and my friends, a lot of people in order to get perspective, to take their nose out of the binding, maybe they have to wait 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. They have to, oh, now I'm 60. I look back and I see that my dad did a good job. Wow, he actually wasn't a dickhead. I, he actually did a good job for me. I, I hated him when I was in my 20s and 30s because he was blah de blah I, That's not actual fact for my dad. Yeah. You know, I'm just saying that a lot of people are angry at their parents. And they're 60, so. I tell, yeah, right. Yeah, and I'm not 60. But they, they finally, when they get enough distance from it, they look at themselves and like, yeah, I was actually kind of a shitty kid. And yeah, I kind of did these things. And yeah, you know, mm, Yeah, I, I understand why he did that. And actually, he was only 35 at that time. And that's actually not a bad job for a 35-year-old who has a lot less experience than I have today. And yeah, maybe I would have done the same thing. And then Yeah, it's you, insane. You have to think yeah. about that because I'm 33, don't have a kid. I'm ha very not, ha not ready. I'm like... Yeah. And then you think about my mom having a kid when she was 20. I'm like, how did she do that? Yeah. How, how? How? And then 35 dealing with a teenager. And she got me when she was 34. Yeah. I. Wow. How? How? Yeah. How? Yeah. How did you deal with that? Yeah. How? It's so much, right? It's so much. Yeah. And, and how the perspective you're getting when you go through this scientifically based process that we have at the flow state continuum 
you actually save yourself 60 years sometimes of perspective because you get pulled out and you can look at your life and look at you and look at the choices that you're making. And guess what? You can decide if that's good or bad. Is that what you want? Are those the results you want? Because another beautiful thing that you talked about there was imagine. Now think about this. The person who's constantly angry at everybody, or I should say they see it as everybody's making me angry. angry, And that's horrible for them and the people around them. We understand that because a person who's angry all the time, everybody has to walk around and they treat super careful. Maybe that person actually think that's a benefit, but that also means that nobody's sharing their intimate details or having conversations with that person. So that person is included or cut out? Cut out. Cut out. And think about this. If you're pissed off with everybody and you're angry and you're like <laughs> constantly, what kind of opportunities are the people going to give you? Do they want to cooperate with you? Do they want to include you in their, their evolution? Do they want to give you opportunities to cooperate and play and expand and experience more? Or do they want to avoid getting yelled at and being treated shitty and stuff? Of course, they want to avoid that. So the opportunities that the angry person is missing is enormous. Very often, when you see a pattern in your life, like it's kind of weird. I don't. I don't have any friends. Just no. You know, I have like one friend I can trust, and then that person disappeared, and then I found another person I could trust, and that person disappeared. Why do you think that is? Is it because they're assholes? <laughs> right. You know, I, for a while, when I was younger, I had a series of best friends and because I was moving a lot. So I got really good at getting a friend, but then I never kept contact with the friends that I had. So I have no best friends from when I was younger. And why is that? Because I didn't keep contact with them. I wasn't good at following them up. And you were the one moving. I moved. Not I didn't them. take on. They, so they, that was kind. It's kind of yeah. your kind of your responsibility, my, my responsibility. To, to keep the contact just since you did the move. Exactly. Yeah. And at one point, I was feeling very lonely. I'm like, yeah, you know, I just can't have friends, and I wonder what man I really suck as a friend. I don't understand. But it's not that I sucked as a friend. I had a great time with my friends, but I never contacted them again. So it was who whose whose issue was that? It's yours. It's my issue, right? So if I wanted a different result, I would have to first look at it differently, get a perspective on why it was, and then I would have to act differently based on that information and that perspective. And like, you know, we at least play 50% of every interaction we, we have. Because everywhere you are... There you are. That's it. So, so you have to uh, keep that up. Also... Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick up my phone here because we're talking about, uh, you know, about um, looking back in time and stuff. Because I freaked out the other day. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to talk about time. Because, you know. Time keeps going. What's that song? Time goes by so slowly. Kinda, yeah, That's, so, yeah. <laughs> That's not for us. Time is whipping by, baby. Yeah. Well, both yes and no. Because I, I got a little bit shocked <clears throat> about time. Bring it. Because procrastination mm, my old friend so say that you are listening to this podcast now which you are because <laughs> you <laughs> just listening. heard that and uh -huh. you regret a little bit because right now the full state continue weekend is happening yep and you're not there mm, and it's so half sorry. a year until the next one is it september to go to the link underneath here you will see the next event when are you gonna get 60 years of perspective you're going to wait until the fall? You're going to wait until... Well, you have to right yeah, now. that's it. So... Sorry. Because I I did some calculations regarding time, which freaked me out. Because, you know, we say that we have endless times, and you're going to live until you're 90. And that's 90 sounds like it's so long until, like, I'm 33. It's... Oof. It's a whole Jason and a half. <laughs> it's a whole Jason and a half. But then I, I, I asked my chat GPT here, because just out of curiosity, how many days is that? Bring it, chat GPT. And, and you know, I was thinking, ah, it's, oh, it's so many days. Mm -hmm. And I almost cried when I saw how 
few days it was. Yeah. It's only, if you ni- live until you're 90, from zero to 90, it's only 32,872 days. Mm. There's, there's less than two monthly wages. Yeah, you're making like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a this do- freaked me if out. If it was a dollar, if, it's, if, if it was a dollar, dollar a day, day is less than two months yeah. of wages. Yeah. And that freaked me out. And then, and then, of course, that's from zero to 90. Well, I'm not zero. I'm not a newborn. I'm 33, which means that. I only have 57 years left, which sounds like a lot. But you know, I'm left with 20,805 days. Do not waste them. That's I'm 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 on less than the monthly wages. <laughs> <laughs> if I get a yeah. dollar a day, it's less than the monthly wages. Well, 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 well. Not a dollar a day. We have to do the math again. A dollar a day. It's less than a year. Is that, see how many days? Oh, yeah, sorry, month? dollars. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, crowns, crowns, Norwegian crowns. crowns. Sorry, Norwe- sorry. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah Norwegian yeah. crowns. You have to yeah, multiply yeah. by ten. No, yeah, no, you yeah, don't have that. That's the point. I was like, whoa! You don't have that many days. Like, hold on, you make a whole lot of money, lady. If Pay you live, people. and this, of course, it gets worse because if you live until you're ninety from zero, you know you have you have the numbers of 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 days, which mm-hmm. is thirty-two thousand something. In hours, that is set. 788,928 hours. Mm-hmm. 800,000. Yeah, approximately. If you live, okay, then, then, then you live to 91 yeah. then. Yeah. But, and that's, of course, that's if you live to, uh, from zero to 90. Well, it's not, I'm not a newborn, I guess. No, no. So you have to take away 33 years of hours. <sighs> Which means that I'm left down to, and let's see here. I have to have the calculations, right? Because I did a lot. I've freaked me out. Poor chat. 525,920 hours. Yeah. And it gets worse because you sleep. (laughs) Which means if you have eight hours of sleep a day. Which I do not. (laughs) You do not. I do have them. Yes. I'm left with 333,104 no, 300. 300. hours. So, that freaked me out the other day. Mm. So, uh, I'm going to have to change my perspective of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but my whole point with all those numbers yeah. and all those yeah. cal- calculations is that, you know, we have a tendency of saying tomorrow. I'll do that later. Mm. And of course, if it's the dishes... Mm. You can do that later. Mm. Who cares? Mm-mm. But if it's signing up for the course that you wanted to do, mm-hmm. if it's to start that hobby you're actually a little bit afraid of doing, mm-hmm. don't procrastinate it. And don't do it. Because you know. living until you're 90 sounds like, in my head at least, forever. Mm-hmm. But it's not that long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's uh, one of the big secrets um, that a... Uh, multi, 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 multi millionaire. Uh, back when women really didn't have uh, jobs uh, as much as they do, like uh, career women, we didn't have that in like in the 30s and 40s and stuff. I mean, they had jobs, of course, but it wasn't wasn't like you know you were a lawyer or a doctor or a billionaire, you know. And uh, Mary Kay, the cosmetics lady, she had a meeting with one of my mentors when he was young. And he asked her, so if you're going to give a young up and coming business person uh, a little bit of advice or something to do, what would you say? And she said, well, I'll tell you, honey, she's from Texas. And she would, she had this enormous cosmetic uh, business and people who would, she was like one of the first multi-level marketing people in the world. And she would give out pink Cadillacs to people who sold a certain amount of uh, product. So there were all these pink Mary Kay Cadillacs driving around in Texas and the South for a while. It's really cool. And she'd say, honey, I get up in the morning and I eat my breakfast and I write down a list 
things I need to do. And then I make a priority list. I put the most important thing at the top and the least important thing at the bottom. And I attack that list from the top to the bottom. And if I only get through the first three things, I knew I did the first three most important things that day. Done. And everything left on the list, I put it on the list the next day. And you know what? When I couldn't get through the list and there were some important things, then I knew I needed an employee. She got herself an employee and then gave away the things I could give away. And then I keep making my list and I would figure out who I wanted to give what to. And that's how I built my empire. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool, right? And that is a lady who has way more money than Donald Trump. That whole company there is super, it's still thriving. It's still rock yeah, and rolling. Yeah, you can get Mary Kay. Oh, you can. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it's still rock and rolling. And this is back in the day. I mean, that, that Mary Kay is old, old. Like, it was old when I was a child, right? So the whole point is, is that, like Maud is saying, use your time wisely and make your priority list and make sure you get the most important things done and be happy, be happy with the things you get done. And if you don't, yeah. putting the commercial in commercial, here, if you don't know what should be on your priority list, maybe you need to get some distance because you need to attack it from a level up. Yes. Go to the next level. Flow state. Yes. All right. Remember, you matter. Unless you multiply yourself by the speed of light squared, then your energy. But if you can't be energy, matter. Thank you for listening to our podcast. We hope you felt we added something to your day and hopefully your life. If you want to learn more, subscribe to our newsletter and find us at integrated-human.com. That is integrated-human.com. Integrated Human on YouTube and other social media platforms. Have a great day and thank you again for listening. Love, light and upgrade from us at the Integrated Human team.